afternoon and welcome to the Nepal T20 inaugural league it's happening in Kathmandu. We have the TU cricket gown. And, uh, today's match, match number 28, it's going to be Birat Nagar Super Kings versus the Far West United. Both trying to look and uh, we are playing the table. Very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The second match of the day and the 28th match of this inaugural Nepal T20 league. I have the two captains aligned with me. The captain of uh, Biratnagar Super Kings, Rohit Kumar Podel, and the captain of Far West United, Mr. Hasmatullah Shahidi, along with the match referee, Mr. Sami Khan. Rohit has the coin, he's flipped the coin. Hedge is the call. It has come tails. So, Rohit, you've won the toss. What have you decided and why? I uh, will bat first. So, news from the center is Biratnagar Super Kings. They have won the toss and elected to bat first. And this is the Pirat Nagar Super Kings lineup. Strong looking batting lineup. And uh, watch out for Keon as well with the ball. And uh, Pradeep Singh Nairi has been uh, superb in the latter part of the tournament. The Farvest United, fresh from winning the game from yesterday. The batsmen did their job as well as the bowlers. It was a convincing win as expected, unchanged. Left by Hasbutullah Shahidi. Batted really well. And uh, let's look up for. The current Casey, Smithla Shahidi, No Rahman, and Umar Ali Khan are the players to look out for. And the opening batsman of Virat Nagar Super Kings, Pradeep Singh. It's been easy for any groundsman to have so much games without a day off. Keep that fresh. Kuranja Sharma playing his eighth game. Partner him. The hard hitting wicket keeper batsman. Pradeep Singh Ayri. Playing his fourth game, a great strike rate, as I've said. Hard hit up. Karan Casey with the new ball. He's uh, always ops to Chopar in. Yeah. Starts off the good length, back of the length. That's looks very close and given. That look adjacent, but yes. it went been a factor, but it was spot on, Parish. You said adjacent. Indeed, seemed back the long way. Cannot get any plumber than that. Plum in front, that they say. Umpire had no hesitation. As they said, Raja Sharma gone for one of two. Virat Nagar four for one. Quite straight. And uh, this time, a leg time for Folly. And Pradeep Singh I could not believe his luck. This occasion. Playing it too early. Juicy half volley. And short mid wicket Dev Kanal. Picking up an easy catch. Yeah, that is what these batsmen are not understanding the wicket. Uh, they need to play under their nose, not away from the body. That is what he did. He had to play, pay for the price. His wicket. He goes for three. Super Kings are six for two. Not about having big muscles. It's a good shot. Bowser and Talat slightly short by current Casey. Back of the length to the stumps. As expected. What he call the instincts of the commentator. And he gets it. He's been itching for it for a very long time. This time it was right in his arc. Probably a slow ball. Yeah, he was eyeing the shortest boundary down to like square leg and easily cross the fence and into the green banks. Pretty short. Help it away. Pitch trying on the leg side. Oh, he does hit again. That is second. One expat six for Talat. wonder do they fancy their chances today oh that would have been a big moment would have been a massive moment but it's gone over the head of the short third man Noor Ahmed short behind this area is very much sort of side on what about him oh, wicket to wicket Paolo takes the bait and gives it away and I don't know what sort of a dance move that is from where Ali Khan but he's delighted to see the back of Rohit Paolo Absolutely delighted, and this was brilliant bowling. Inducing the batsman to take on the short boundary. Portel is out for 21, and Birat Nagar Super Kings are 71 for three. Khan is his 10. Good stroke. 
to full. Going to be punished for a boundary. Away! And that's a lovely Google. We have gone upstairs here just to double check. The back foot doesn't drift out, which it doesn't. So screen there it is, not out. But as googlies go. Cut away and finally Saud breaks the shackles. Probably not exactly where he intended, a little bit off the top edge, but he will get his first boundary. And it will be 50. He's just happy to nudge it around to get to that landmark. It's his second 50 of the Nepal T20. Come from 28 deliveries. Brilliant striking, five fours and two sixes. Well batted, Usain Talat. down the ground oh my God! and this could be oh my God! he's showing the bat he may get fined for that later but that is out has to pitch in line from over the wicket but you think it has I wonder was this pad pad maybe <laughs> front pad onto back pad if it was it's going to go on and hit the stumps the umpire took a rather strange approach to getting the finger up tell has gone for 50 93 for four. Okay, it's through it's the air. Leg cutter. Beautiful bowling. Last over. The yeah, umpires have gone upstairs. It looks very close. Ah, yeah, he's gone. Very smart thinking by Dave Pennell throwing the ball. And the throw was accurate right over the stumps. That's given out. Prithuvas Baskota has to go back to the dugout. A very important wicket for the Power West United. Peter Pascot are gone for a duck. Peter Nagasu two pickings, 97 for five. Ideally, Hashmikul Shahidi would be wanting a couple of wickets, but this time, young Arjun South going inside out. And uh, well played, giving himself room down to the boundary. Yet another one expat boundary for Arjun South. Okay, doing the same thing. That was pulled it oh very nice feeling there by Jim Sarki are they going for the third there's a mix up and uh, directed by Vinod Bhandari and it's a run out showing his frustration it's got a bit of feeling at deep square like to be honest but uh, there was a chance for second run if the batsman had the awareness but in the end Arjun South is too keen scoring a 22 of 26 Viratnagar Super Kings 180 for 6. Oh, that's very well played. That is one expat 4 for Vivek Yadav. Oh, that's down the ground. And uh, finally, one expat 6 for Vivek Yadav. The first one for him. Was length right throughout on this occasion. Vivek Yadav got enough bat. Quite flat, hard. Oh, young man. Got to be much fuller than that if you're bowling that length. You will be in trouble most of the time. Yet again, up in the air. The long off fielder under it. Oh, drops it, and that's another yet one expat six. For a moment, I thought he was under control. Plenty of air time. Comes down with the star. And in the end, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Uh, that's sealed away the square deck region and that is one expat four uh, that was hit was it hit uh, on his bat or on his bat and that's one run taken he's in uh, pain Vivek Yadav I think it hit his thigh or ankle or I don't know what it is I think it misses with the uh, thigh pad and hit the gap between thigh pad and the pad Quite painful, especially with SG ball, which is quite hard. Definitely will need some medical help. Far West United need 148 runs to win in 20 overs. You just see the Super Kings strolling out to take their defense of this total. The form that Far West United have been, 
Hashmadullah Shahidi, in particular, has been impressive. Hands up in the crowd. They are delighted to see Bin Al-Bandari at the top, where he can use that aggressive role. And look at his numbers here. They have caught up dramatically after a slow start. 169 runs, and now a strike rate over 125. We could play him pretty well and pace on the ball. Here comes Keon Joseph. Perfect time to bat, just like that. Gorgeous cover drive. Pierces the gap between extra cover and mid-off. Played a flamboyant innings. And when he hits it like this, it's high, it's long, and it's a 1x bat. He's lined up the length of this one. It's more of a top edge, really, than out of the middle. But it was so spectacular, just as you were saying, flamboyant. Look at how high that's gone. Shahidi gets it just over the head. But mid off will get a boundary down the ground. Again, I don't think it was out of the middle. Really, that's again what we talked about straying into the body. And that's a 1x bat for. Sometimes a lot of coaches around the world. That's another 1x bat boundary. And that's what I really like about his bowling. That bowling arm is really long. His length is a bit full. That's another 1x bat boundary. Clean him up, it's the off cutter. It's such a potent weapon. And Nandan Yadav has now taken a wicket every time he's got on the park. Beautiful bowling there. Exactly what the captain ordered. Hitting that length hard, hitting the top of off stump. He's happy with it. Vinod Bandari is out for 10, and Far West United lose their first wicket. Not out of the middle of the bat, but that won't matter because it's such a short boundary. It will be four. And there you go. And that's another 1x bat. Four. Hey, hey. Full of play, cut shot. And. Uh, a bit of feeling in the end. I just think his, his foot touched the rope. Third umpire will have a look. Talk about effort, commitment. Cannot get better than this. Yeah, boundary given by the umpire, the third umpire. Uh, goes away to the next side. Clears the boundary easily. Flat six. Oh, that's a four. Down the ground this time. Rocky Nandan strikes. The previous one. It turned, it bounced just outside the all stump. Dave Canal probably trying to go towards mid wicket, get a single, cleaned him up. Yeah, clever bowling by Raj Rocky. The ball after pitching going in with the arm. Dave Canal gone for five. Far West 61 for two. Soon after he came back from Sri Lanka. Hold oh. him. That's a fantastic delivery. It curved away from the left hander. And they turn back, and a typical left armers delivery hitting the off stump. Look at this. Going with the angle on air yeah. and turn sharply inside. Off stump rattled by Surya Tamang. Look at this top of off stump, even touched the bales, I think. Very good bowling. Look at his celebration. Siru Vardana gone for three. Power West United 66 for three. But in the end, in his arc, it's going. Oh, drop catch at long on. Oh. Back live, he's showing the bat, but that's given. Oh, I think the match referee will look into it. Yeah, showing clearly this end and uh, this frustration indeed. Oh. He got a case, but in the end, the game of cricket, umpire's decision, the final decision. Unlucky, Bim Shaki gone for nine. Farvis, 86 for four. And he's certainly, Nur is certainly aiming down the ground and he has got a desperate boundary that they're looking for. And Forrest ahead of Super Kings, but just at the right time, Rocky gets another wicket on equal footing. Beautifully bold. Raj Rocky Nanan's had a really good tournament since he's come into this Super Kings side. Keeps it very simple. No turn on offer. The top of off is where you want to hit whatever bowler you are. 100 for five. Ahmed gone for 10. Well, there's touch alongside the brilliant power of Karen KC.
Full straight given. Big, big moment. We're just talking about Shahidi maybe getting a little bit tired. And Raj Rocky Nanan is pumped up. A massive wicket for the Super Kings. That's skid on with the arm. Pitched in line. Didn't bounce much. That's the wicket. Birat Nagar Super Kings were looking for. And they've got it. Shahidi gone for 58. 113 for six. All or nothing it always is for Umar Ali. And he starts with a little bit of all, some fireworks into the leg side, that short side of the ground. He only knows one way, Umar Ali can. It's a maximum. That bat swing seems very natural to him. And it seems very natural for him to just hit boundaries. That's a beautiful six. Edged. Oh, given. That's the big moment. They're always going to give you a chance, these two. They strike the ball so hard. Yeah, it was a slower ball. It's stuck in the wicket. He wanted pace on that ball. And unfortunately, he didn't get it. I'm sorry, Karen Casey. Your innings come to an end. Scores eight runs and Far West United. One, two, nine for seven. Umar Ali Khan goes bang down the ground. Felt like it was coming that over. It's a maximum. Swing and a miss, they're gonna have to run the by. Run them out. And that has put the Super Kings on the brink. Brilliant work from Arjun Saud. And the new man to the crease will need four to win. Umar Ali is out for 23. And that is the game. And that could be the end for Far West United. And they have lost their main man. Big swing and a miss. And the big man holds his nerve. They don't even run the boy. He's going to be run out. Dergesh Gupta is run out. And Far West United are knocked out of the competition. That was the first innings the Super Kings made, 147 for six. It was a thrilling game. It played out in the dying light and it's ended Far West United's campaign. The Super Kings have run out winners by just three runs. The hero for me, Keon Joseph.